So let's talk about something that really was like maybe too good to be true. Okay. What's that? Well, I mean, it's kind of a somewhat relevant this week. It's the three-year anniversary since Peyton Manning retired. Okay. Oh. So I have, I've never really asked coach these kind of questions, and I am a fan first. This is, I played football. I love following it. But coach, so you you're in Indian, Indianapolis. You get there. I, Peyton Manning's the quarterback. Uh, wh- give us a story or the moment when you realize, like, holy cow, this guy is something different. I've never been around anything like, like this. He's special. Is there that moment that jumps out about coaching Peyton Manning back that back in those days? Well, the first day I got there, he came in after the press conference, just said hello, said, hey, I want to be coached. I want to win. Uh, whatever we need to do to make me the best I can be and make our team the best it can be, I'm all for it. And then uh, about two weeks later, he came in with a yellow legal pad, uh, about seven pages of things, and he (laughs) put it on my desk. He said, these are the things I want to get better at. This is what I plan to work on this offseason, and uh, you need to help me with, with these. And that's when I said, wow, we, we've got something special here. Wow. I, the preparation just always jumped out. I mean, I always envisioned him, like, coming over to the sidelines and timeouts. And, like, you know, usually the quarterback sits there and listens to the offensive coordinator and the head coach and, like, hey, what do you want to do? I, I always envisioned him, like, just spitting out and blurting out plays he wanted to do. I don't want him to say, like, he was being disrespectful by, like, telling you guys. But just he had the nickname the sheriff for a reason. Was he like that where he came over and kind of, like, was – a semi a coach on the field in that manner he was chris but he was always into the game plans and he always you know he was doing that based on what he had read and right. what he was seeing so it wasn't ever a, you know i want to do this it was hey here's where we are this is what we're talking about and um he, he was just totally prepared Right. Totally prepared. So you always felt good about the suggestions that he made. It, and it could have gone, I, Tony, I was listening to an interview that you did, and it could have gone either way. I mean, it seems like Peyton Manning from the get-go was destined to be a, a great quarterback, top draft pick. But I, I heard you talking about how you see some of the same things with Jameis Winston here, how early on maybe you're not getting the success. And if you're not getting the success early on, sometimes you wonder, is, is that ever going to happen? Yeah. It, could, it could go either way. You see some of the same things with Jameis Winston that maybe you saw Peyton Manning dealing with early on. Well, yeah, and he just has to settle down and trust his coaches and his defense and, and everything, not try to win. And then Peyton went through that, that he's trying to win every game himself mm. and make every single play. And uh, I think that's a little bit of what's happening with Jameis, and I think that's what Bruce Aarons is going to talk to him about. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.